Welcome to American Hunter Sunday Gun Day, where we start the week by bringing you a great gun for the field. This one is for the lever gun fans, and judging by the emails we receive, there's a bunch of you out there. Having grown up in the deer woods of the east, I'm with you. Many hunters may already be familiar with the Browning BLR, but let's take a close look at one of the current versions of this popular lever action, the BLR Lightweight 81. At first glance, the Lightweight 81 looks like a throwback to the BLR rifles of the 1970s and 80s, but there are several major differences in this modern iteration of a classic. First, the receiver is made from aluminum alloy rather than steel, a change that Browning made in the mid-90s. This is possible because the rifle's rotating bolt head and its six lugs lock up with an extension of the barrel instead of the receiver, which leaves the receiver unstressed. It's a strong action design that can handle the pressures of magnum cartridges, and accordingly, the BLR Lightweight 81 is available in several magnum and Winchester short magnum chamberings. While the original BLR had a round bolt body, the Lightweight 81 bolt has splines that match with grooves inside the receiver. Nevertheless, the newer bolt body retains the teeth on its underside, and like the original, has an internal rack and pinion system that drives the bolt when the lever is cycled. This, too, contributes to the action strength. One of the things hunters have always liked about the BLR is the lever and trigger design. The two move together when the action is cycled, which prevents pinching a finger between the lever and trigger. Some hunters claim the BLR is faster to cycle than other lever guns because of this design. That may be open to debate, but the BLR is certainly one of the smoothest cycling lever action rifles ever to hit the woods. The Lightweight 81 has a great trigger for a lever gun. The one in this example breaks very cleanly at a little more than four pounds. Hunters also praise the BLR for its detachable box magazine, which unlike a tubular magazine common to other lever guns, permits the use of modern spire point bullets. In the Lightweight 81, the magazine is nearly flush with the bottom of the receiver. The original BLR had a magazine that jutted out from the belly of the receiver by almost an inch. The sleeker magazine makes the Lightweight 81 easier to cradle in the hand, and I think it also improves the look of the rifle. It holds four standard rounds or three magnum rounds. Now let's talk about chamberings. Because of its box magazine and strong action, the Lightweight 81 is available in more chamberings than any other production lever action rifle that I'm aware of. For example, you can get it in 22250 Remington, or 270 Winchester, or 300 Winchester Short Magnum, or like the one I have here in the classic buck and bear walloping 358 Winchester. A friend of mine has one in 7mm Remington Magnum, which he calls the Big Punisher. In all, Browning offers the Lightweight 81 in 16 different chamberings. The barrel length for short action cartridges is 20 inches. It's 22 inches for long action cartridges and Winchester short magnums, and 24 inches for traditional magnum cartridges. All lightweight 81 barrels are button rifled and have crown muzzles. They all come with excellent iron sights, although most hunters today will take advantage of the rifle's drilled and tapped receiver and add a scope, since the lightweight 81 ejects cases to the side. In short action chamberings, the rifle weighs about six and a half pounds. While the Lightweight 81 has a traditional half cock safety, the hammer spur also folds forward to rest on the back of the bolt, below the end of the firing pin, for even more assurance. Taking it off safe to shoot is as simple as cocking the hammer, as the spur moves back into position with the rearward motion of your thumb. The BLR has been manufactured in Japan since the 70s, and the fit and finish of today's rifles are as good as ever. The Lightweight 81 is one fine looking lever gun, with its high gloss, straight grip, walnut stock, and polished blue finish on the metal. Browning also currently offers the BLR with a pistol grip stock and a stainless steel finish. A takedown version is available too. MSRP of the BLR Lightweight 81 ranges from about $950 to a little more than $1,000, depending on chambering. If you want the quick handling of a lever gun, but the power and velocity of a modern, or even a magnum, cartridge, the Browning BLR Lightweight 81 provides both. This is a lever action rifle that will continue to stand the test of time. For more info on the Browning BLR line, check out browning.com. And for more Sunday Gun Day, any day of the week, go to AmericanHunter.org.